Remake. Remake. Trailer Breakdown. The trailer begins by recapping Resident Evil 2 Remake, showing both the characters and areas in Raccoon City to connect the storylines together and to possibly reveal some of the repeat areas Jill may be visiting. The original Resident Evil 3 actually takes place both before and after Resident Evil 2, so some of the events may be overlapping. This means some of the same areas might show up again, and there is a possibility that RE3 characters will run into RE2 characters along the way. Some actual gameplay footage released shows us that RE3 is going to be in third person. So what's the deal with the first person trailer scene where Jill is running away from Nemesis? Is this a new escape mechanic to the game? Probably not. Just a more dramatic cutscene that may kick off the game with a really intense moment. Later, more brief first person in the mirror as Jill imagines herself as a zombie. Oh, my head. After presumably being infected by Nemesis. In the original when this happens, Jill falls over and we take over the game as Carlos for a small segment. While he could have his own campaign, it is more likely that Carlos will be like Ada and Sherry in Resident Evil 2 Remake and have only a small playable part, perhaps with different weapons or different mechanics. What's wrong with Umbrella? Carlos is hanging with his Umbrella merc mate Tyrell, Star's office has to be in this direction, who may end up blowing himself up, and Jill has found the Merc Murphy. Don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not infected. Who Nikolai promptly takes out, just like he did in the original. Except when Carlos has to. We also get a sneak peek of Mikhail and the cable car slash train. The only character left is Brad, and he figures out what Nemesis is there for. Right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. In the original, Brad was killed by Nemesis, and ended up in RE2 as a zombie. In the RE2 remake, zombie Brad was gone, sort of, and we can see in the trailer that he probably burns up as Nemesis takes down his chopper, while Jill escapes off the top of the parking garage. In terms of enemies, looks like RE2 zombies combined with more hordes. There even appears to be a revelation style dodge mechanic. And our favorite hunters are making an appearance. Best of all, we may get a more in-depth Nemesis origin story. But one of the biggest questions that remains is how is Nemesis actually going to work? In terms of gear, so far your Resident Evil essential equipment, weapons, and add-ons. We still have tons of questions about possible new areas, about the return of the choose your own adventure, and to see what other techniques or mechanics might be added to the game. We'll be following all the latest news and theories on the Where's Barry channel so be sure to subscribe because we can't wait to play Free Mate. Crimson Army, what did we miss in our trailer analysis? What do you want to see in future videos? Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned from now until April for the best Resident Evil 3 Remake coverage online.